with the volition to help the beginners of this channel, uh, such as the individual who left this comment here, I'm going to clarify the response, the kuleana that I gave to the comment. Now, I know this individual has been a viewer of my channel for at least a year, uh, if my memory serves me correct, uh, perhaps even longer. As a matter of fact, they just sent me an email not too long ago saying that they did not wish to comment anymore on the channel, which I find it interesting that now they're commenting. But what this individual said is, English is the language of the sea, is it not? So quantum grammar is the language for the sea of all salvage in your port. Is your call? Is it not? I'm reading this. This is adverb, verb, adjective, pronoun, plain English fiction babble. Looking at the punctuation and reading it with a rising inflection at the end as one would read a question out loud. Um, so my response was, why do you say English is the language of the sea? If by sea you mean water, then is English what the fish speak? Okay, I'm being cheeky. I'm trying to convey a psychological and important and critical psychological aspect. Your statement formatted as a question in a negative condition of state. And what I mean by that is the individual says, English is the language of the sea. Is it not? They say, is it not? That's a negative condition of sea. Oh, sorry, <laughs> negative condition of state when saying, is it not? And the way the question is formatted, it's what we would call a rhetorical question in that an assumption is built into it that what they're saying, like the individual wants you to agree with, they're not actually asking a question, they're making a statement in the format of a question. Because if it was a question, wouldn't someone say, like if someone wanted closure on, on whatever that is, they, wouldn't they say, is English the language of the sea? In which case it, it would still be as confusing because like I said, I mean, do fish speak it? What do you mean sea? What sea are we talking about? What, are, what do you mean when you say the word S-E-A? What are you referring to? That's what I'm trying to get at. You have to have closure on what it is you're talking about, whether it's in the fiction or in the fact. Well, actually in the fiction, you don't have to have closure on it because people talk like this all the time. And the fiction system definitely does it. And it definitely, the fiction system wants you to agree with it and speaks in a way to get you to agree with it if it can, just through you know, this babble. So that's why in quantum grammar, you definitely, definitively must have closure on what it is you're talking about. And if you don't, if you have closure on it, then you have to be able to convey that to another individual. That's why I'm asking these questions. I want to know what this individual means by the word C. So then I say, uh, your statement about quantum grammar is not correct because one cannot possibly prove the word all. Where it says in another similar rhetorical question, so quantum grammar is the language for the sea of all salvage and your port is your call, is it not? Another negative condition is state. Now, the second question, and all three of these word groups are questions, as you know, denoted by the question mark there. So quantum grammar is the language for the sea of all salvage. And that is not a correct statement. As I say, you, you cannot prove all. How would you prove all? And I guess from the conjunction there, it would imply that quantum grammar is the language for your port. No, that's not right. I guess that would be a completely different thing. They're asking, so your port, actually, again, the way it's phrased, it's not a question, even though there's a question mark at the end, it's not a question because so your port is your call. It's like a statement, sort of made in a, 
How would you say it? It's sort of phrased. It's ambiguous as though it may be a question. It may not because there's a question mark at the end. Why wouldn't the individual just say, is your port your call? Which I don't know what they mean by that either. What do they mean by call? What is their closure on call? So that's why I asked them, please give your clo closure to your claims formatted as questions with negative conditions of state about English C port call and especially quantum grammar. I'm asking the claimant or the commenter to give closure, give a finite mean, bank some value to these words that in the fiction you would call nouns, that if you formatted it in quantum grammar would be called facts if formatted correctly, give closure to them. What the hell do you mean by this? Because <laughs> I really don't know. I really don't have closure on any of what they're commenting on. And I would have to say that this individual for sure does not have closure on the grammar, which I can guess that's why they're here. Now, this individual has never, ever been, to my knowledge, disrespectful or anything like that. And I'm not being disrespectful right now. What I'm doing is what I do. You see other places on live feeds, in comments, sections, in videos. I'm, I'm being blunt. Because if this individual is here to learn the grammar, I'm trying to teach an aspect of the grammar that I see that they lack. As a tutor, I can see this. I can see that they lack closure on the psychology of how it works. Because if they had the closure, even a rudimentary closure of the grammar, they would not be asking these types of questions or these types of statements formatted as questions these types of claims formatted as questions which I, i'm not sure what their volition is behind even commenting here in this manner it's not a straightforward question from an individual wishing to learn i can say that for sure it's something else maybe they wish to provoke a discussion somehow some way on the topics in their comment which i would ask the viewers to please be straightforward don't, I mean, word game, this is not the place for word games. I can play word games. I was an English major in college <laughs> many, many moons ago. I know the fiction babble. I know these types of things. But this is not the channel for that. This channel is to learn for those who are serious about learning quantum grammar. And by serious, I mean, if you've been on this channel for a year or two years and you still have not used the grammar, and you've been studying it, then there's something there that's a cognitive dissonance, perhaps you could say. I don't know. This is a guess on my part. There's some sort of challenge there, and it's probably psychological uh, on the part of the viewer. And one way to meet that challenge would be to have a confidential brief video consultation with me for 10 to 15 minutes to ask me those questions that, that you really want answers to. If for whatever reason, you don't feel comfortable asking them on a live stream, or you could do a workshop with me, contact me at my email address, Jason at gmail.com and apply for a workshop and then fast track your way. And then you would have a one-on-one -on -one with me where I would come in with laser-like focus, meet you wherever you're at, and take you as far as I can in 60 minutes in learning this grammar, doing the best that I can with my almost five years of experience as a tutor teaching people, hundreds of people all over the earth. That's up to you if you are serious about it. And it's cool, too, if you want to keep viewing and leaving comments like this, you know, because there are others that do the same thing. That's cool too. I'm, I appreciate their viewership as well. I'm just trying to drive home the point that if you're serious about it, you have venues with which to pursue and exercise that seriousness. Then I go on to say, you know, I highly recommend studying the 300 plus videos I provided for you on this channel 
or contact me to set up a brief video consultation so that you may convey with clarity what you wish to say face-to-face -face on a geometric level playing field. And that is why I offer the consultation. So there's no misunderstanding. You and I can look each other, quote unquote, in the eye, see each other's gestures and, and expressions. And I can know for my part, whether or not you are cognizing what I'm saying. And you can do the same with me. I can see your volition. Is your volition to be cheeky? Are you just playing word games? Or are you serious about this? Are you ready to step up to the plate and become autonomous? and take mastership of your own construct? Or you wanna stay in the comments field and do this. Either way is cool with me. I want to offer a venue for all those who are serious about learning. This grammar, it's the only thing I concentrate on. Yes, there are others who I help with, with contracts and and sometimes cases and different types of documents, but that is only after they have a certified level of correct sentence structure, communication, parse, syntax, grammar, knowledge. First, that foundation must be in place and I must be able to certify it for the safety of all vessels involved. Otherwise, no, because I'm not gonna put anyone in danger intentionally. I'm not going to send anybody out there half-assed. What I'm going to do is do the best I can to impart the grammar knowledge. And then once that has been imparted and I see that it's been imbibed and I see that it's been solidified as a foundation from which, with which to springboard from, then I'm happy to help people with different documents and different uh, projects that they're doing. The thing is, is that sometimes people don't really comprehend like they think that quantum grammar is some sort of silver bullet which it's not that once you understand it magically everything becomes easier well the grammar becomes easier because you you comprehend it you understand it but everything else does not become easier or harder it just is and you realize that it's not a silver bullet it's not an army it's a potent technology completely and 100 percent dependent upon you your strength of will your volition and your ability to hold a position that's about as clear as i can put it thank you for watching this video i hope it provided some clarity on the subjects mentioned you can email me at the email address that's uh, been screened at the bottom of your picture for the whole video, jasonmatthewg17 at gmail.com. If you have any grammar questions, or if you wish to participate in a 10 to 15 minute video consult, or if you wish to apply for a correct grammar workshop, you can email me there. Uh, please like and subscribe to this channel and also my Coral Blade Grotto channel, if you'd like. And always remember that authority comes from knowledge and the skill in conveying that knowledge and closure. Thanks.